Hello again. So in today's video, I thought I would talk about one of the questions that I asked a lot when I was applying for PM roles, which is, so what do PMs actually do? And even though I've been a product manager for, I think, six months, which is really hard to believe, I still don't really have a good answer to this. For real, like sometimes after work, I'll look back at my day and be like, what did I even do today? So I thought, well, I do have experience talking about productivity apps and reviewing them, so why not give you a lens into what a PM does by talking about the tools that I use every day as a product manager instead? Now, one of the apps I'll be talking about today is Loom, which is today's lovely sponsor. We'll get back to them in a little bit, but yeah, it's been a while since we narrowed out over productivity apps, so let's get into it. So back in 2020, AKA when I was living with my parents, I chose to spend my evenings browsing Product Hunt, looking for the next productivity app, Unicorn. And then I'd review those apps on this channel. So I guess it was only natural that my first PM job would be at none other than a productivity app startup, AKA Coda. And Coda itself is an all-in-one doc that's built for teams. It's really powerful and versatile, and so kind of a function of Coda being so flexible, and also the product that I PM, I spend like probably 90 to 95% of my day on Coda. For example, I built this team hub that really manages all the projects that my team works on. And so here I'll put things like meeting notes and write-ups and task trackers. So it basically replaces things like Google Docs, and Confluence and Jira, which I am very grateful for. And speaking of write-ups, there actually is a lot of writing that goes into my job as a PM, especially like right now, we're in the middle of quarterly planning, which means I am in the peak of write-up mode these first few weeks. All right, next is Slack. So fun fact, back, fact, fact. Back when I interned at Amazon, I think like five years ago, yeah, five years ago, I actually took it upon myself to build a Slack group for all of the Amazon interns. I think I just wanted to make some friends and that's why I did it. But yeah, somehow I ended up managing this group with like 2,000 or like even 5,000 interns. And perhaps this was actually the real start of my PM journey. Anyways, Slack is a messaging app for work. It's kind of like Discord, I guess. And as someone who works remotely, basically all of my conversations happen either on Slack or on Zoom. I typically start my day by lurking around Slack, you know, seeing what's happening and catching up with the messages that I was tagged in. And this can actually take a surprising amount of time. Besides that, I also use Slack to chat with my teammates or to send important updates to the broader team, which for me includes a lot of those little like dancing emojis. Now, Zoom. Uh, I think we all know what this is. Fortunately for me, I did not have to experience Zoom University at the start of the pandemic, so I didn't really get all of the Zoom memes for quarantine teens. But yeah, I guess now I can't really say that anymore. Yeah, I would say having so many meetings was definitely like the biggest shift for me as a PM. And to be honest, it probably took like a couple of months to actually get used to. Looking at my Google Calendar here, it looks like about half of my week is spent in meetings, which of course are all done on Zoom. I think about a quarter of that time is spent in one-on-ones, which I actually quite like, and then the remaining 12 to 15 hours are spent in group meetings, so either like team syncs or company-wide meetings. Yeah, it's a lot, <laughs> so I think it's probably actually time to do some calendar cleanup and cancel those meetings. And actually speaking of meetings, back when I was a soft Whoa. back in the day when I was a software engineer, I would really look forward to my meetings, which which sounds pretty crazy now. Yeah, I guess I just really did not enjoy coding React. And so I would spend my entire day looking at my empty calendar, waiting for that one meeting I had at like 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I guess lucky for me, now my calendar looks like this. Yeah, I guess like besides using Google Calendar just to see my schedule and join Zoom meetings, I also use it a lot to help schedule meetings. All right, so a much more exciting tool on our list is Figma. Now, Figma is a web-based design tool that has really taken over the world by storm. I actually got my first taste of Figma about two years ago when I decided to make this minimal icon pack from scratch in Figma as a complete newbie. So I spent like 60 hours that week making a hundred custom iOS icons. A couple of tears were shed, but I did make some money off of it. So I guess it was all worth it. 
So as a PM, I don't do design primarily, but actually one of my favorite parts of my job is to jam on Figma with my team. For example, recently we were working on some new YouTube thumbnails for Coda's YouTube channel. And so I was working with our social media manager and our brand team to build this design system. I would say my favorite feature of Figma is actually FigJam, which my team uses to do these design jams like every month or so. It's basically a whiteboarding tool, but it's really fun and playful, so it really makes it super easy to collaborate, even when you're remote. In fact, I've also incorporated a lot of my YouTube workflow into Figma as well. So I now plan my thumbnail and video titles in FigJam, and then once I'm ready to upload, I also edit my final thumbnails in Figma. So yeah, I am a big fan. All right, and the next tool is Loom, which I not only started using basically on my first day at Coda, but it's also the lovely sponsor of today's video. I don't know about you, but the worst kind of meetings and the meetings that I definitely don't want to be guilty of as a PM are those where one person does all the talking. You know, they're the meetings that could easily be replaced by an email or a write-up or a Loom. Now, Loom is an async video messaging tool for work, which allows you to record your screen and or yourself and easily share with your teammates. And so for me, whenever it's possible, I would always opt to skip that extra meeting and instead just record a Loom of myself and embed that in a Coda doc for my team. And then my team can pop their popcorn, rewatch it, or share it with others in a much more efficient manner. And with the new Loom HQ, it's even easier to share and discover content at work. I kind of think of it like an internal YouTube, so you can set up profiles, descriptions, and tags for your videos, etc. So yeah, I am a big fan, and I was really happy when Loom reached out since I had been using this product for many, many months. And if you want to check out Loom, do use my link in the description, which is loom.com slash harshibar to try out Loom for free. And yeah, thank you again, Loom, for supporting my channel. Now let's get to the next all right, the second to last tool, the penultimate tool today is Descript. You can kind of think of this like Canva for video editing. It just makes editing really, really easy. And for me, it's kind of the biggest crossover tool as a creator and a product manager. And the story here is that my team basically decided to make these really elaborate pre-recorded videos to share with our company at demos every Friday. Which means for me as a PM, it's my job to solicit all the demo looms from my team, put them all into Descript and then add some music, maybe some light text or different edits, and then share that out with the entire company. There's also this button that I love that you can click to remove all the times when you say um or ah or silences, which for me would actually be really, really helpful even when I edit this video. So Mode is an analytics tool slash platform that makes it really easy to create nice interactive dashboards using anything from SQL to Python to R. And I would say this is the one place in my job and in my life where my CS degree is still relevant. And so I can use all of my SQL knowledge from my databases class senior year to work with our data science team or even to build my own dashboards to see how my team is doing or how our product is growing. So yeah. That is my list. Of course, these are not all the tools that I use as a PM. For example, sometimes I like to log into GitHub and remember the good old days when I would write PRs and the feeling of success when I merged that big PR. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope that you liked it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a big like and subscribe, follow me, Basically just follow me on Twitter since I don't really check most of my other social media. Um, also, if you have any specific videos that you wanna see from me, please do let me know in the comments down below and I will make those. And yeah, that is it. I will see you in the next one. Beyond. Smash the subscribe button.